Number zero is a fat, plump, and a cheerful lady. She always keeps smiling. Zero is round in her appearance. Number zero loves to dance around and keeps moving. She has many friends who play with her and have fun. She likes to help everyone and is kind to all. Zero is polite and humble in her nature. She likes gardening. watering plants and takes care of her children. Everybody likes number zero because she respects elders, loves younger and always adds the value to whoever she is with. Let's start the story about number one. Tall and handsome number one. A cake is lying on table in a garden. There is sun and few birds around. Is there anyone around? Hey, I am here for you, little one. One pops up on the cake and screams with happiness. Hey, it's my birthday today and I have turned one. Happy birthday to you, one. Thank you, friend, for being here to celebrate my birthday. Can everyone present here come and celebrate the birthday of our friend, one? All the birds around and the sun comes and dances. Let's see what is number two doing in the story today. There is a mama duck floating in the water alone, all alone. A small pond with lots of lotus inside, a duck flapping wings. See who comes and joins mama duck, who, who, who. A small baby duck comes and joins mama duck. Now the ducks are two, 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 two. Who, who, who. Now there are two ducks. Mama duck and baby duck. Two, two, two. Two playing with each other. Hallelujah hoo. Flapping wings and running around the pond. Mama hugs and says, Baby, I love you. Baby duck says, Mama, I love you too. Both flapping with happiness. Number three comes after one and two. It's a beautiful garden. A flower is blooming. Number three comes and sits on the flower. A colorful butterfly flies around and round the flower. Flower asks, How are you? Butterfly says, I'm fine, thank you. Flower asks, who else is coming to play with me? Butterfly says, my butterfly friends are coming to play with you. Flower blooms with happiness and looks around to see. Two more butterflies come and sit on the other flowers. They all flew round and round the flower. They all want to fly around free. That is number three. There is a small house. Number four. There lives a small boy inside. His name is Munu. He goes to school regularly. He comes back from school and plays with his friends in the garden outside his home. They play with each other every day. Munu's friends stay close to his house. Munu plays with a ball. He flies the kite. He plays hide and seek. 
Manu gets tired and goes back to his home. Number 5 comes after number 1, 2, 3 and 4. In a jungle, there are kangaroos jumping around, up and down, side to side, hopping all over, high and high. They were in the shape of number 5. They have their babies in their pocket, like bags. It was very cloudy day. Sounds of thunder and lightning. As if it was going to rain cats and dogs. Five number kangaroos got worried. Their babies had gone out of their pockets to play. As they started going out in search of them, they saw little five-shaped kangaroos jumping and hopping and coming towards them feeling scared of sounds of thunder and lightning. Today, let's learn about number six story. Are you ready? Let's start. There was a big tree under the base of which there were small six number snails living. During rainy season, the number six came out of the tree base and said, Come on friends, let's go and stay somewhere else for few days, said number six. All the number six snails agreed and followed each other in a line. Q and started crawling round and round towards the other place. All the number six crawled and crawled and at last saw a beautiful garden there. They felt so happy to see so many varieties of fruits and flowers there. They all ate fruits, crawled around the garden and slept round and round every day. After spending few days, number six got bored again and wanted to visit a new place. So number six started in search of another beautiful place. Have you seen a zebra in the zoo? Number seven looks little like a zebra. Number seven with black and white stripes looks like a zebra. In a circus, there were number seven black and white striped animals. They were big, strong and smart. Zebra looks like a hero. Number seven galloping around. People come to see them in the circus. Seven number zebras moving round and round in a circle and having fun. Children see number seven zebras and clapping. Having a lot of fun. They are moving in forward and backwards in a line. They are jumping up and down the stage and entertaining people around. They all are jumping from a hula hoop one by one and entertaining children. Number seven is a happy number, keeping everyone happy around. Come, let's hear the story of number 8, a naughty chick. Number 8 is so very cute, round and fat. Mama Hen and Papa loved little 8 chick. But number 8 never obeyed and listened to his Mama and Papa. Number 8 Mama was sad. She said, Hey little chick. You must listen to elders. Little number eight was very stubborn. He did what he wanted without listening to elders. His mama was worried that he may get into trouble sometime. One day, number eight little chick went running near the pond and fell into the water. He got scared and moved here and there to save himself from drowning. Soon, Mama Chick found that the little number eight 
was not around. She looked here and there and saw this naughty eight drowning in water. Mama Hen went and saved number eight from drowning. Little eight was sorry for what he did and said, Mama, I am very sorry. Won't be naughty and will listen to elders. There is a number nine who looks like a little giraffe and is named as Jerry. Number nine, Jerry the giraffe, was a good baby. He had a long neck with which he reached the fruits on trees easily. He loved all his friends. Number nine and his friends played a lot in the forest and ate fruits hanging from the trees. One day, there were many hunters who came into the jungle and wanted to catch the long-necked giraffes. They saw number nine Jerry and wanted to catch him. So, they planned to trap him in the net. Hunters put the net in the jungle where number nine goes to play with his friends. As number nine was running to his friends to play, he fell in the trap thrown by the hunters. All his friends came running and helped him to come out of the trap. Number nine was very happy that he had such good friends who helped him when he was in trouble. Number nine and all the other friends danced with joy. Number one and number zero together make number ten. Let's hear the story of number ten. A nice story of friendship. Friendship of number one and number zero. There was a number one, tall and handsome, always having a smile on his face. There was a zero, round and round, fat and plump, also having a beautiful smile on her face. They both were friends, best friends. Number one and number zero, both together make number ten. They both always used to be together. They went to school together, played together and had lot of fun always. They never used to fight with anybody, always helped others and listened to the elders. One day they both planned to throw a party and invited all the numbers to their party. Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All came to their party wearing beautiful dresses. Number 10 then switched on some nice music and they all danced together merrily.